So in this video we're going to have a few buttons on our option screen that will, uh, when you click them, uh, it will cancel itself out and allow the others to be clicked and then when you click on one of the others that button gets disabled and the other one becomes enabled. So to do this we need to go to our options widget screen and uh, we'll have a vertical box so we can have it all nice and neat and we'll get a button. Uh, this one we can have disabled by default we won't enable it because this will just be our title so text block um, colors let's see Actually, don't need enabled. We can visibility. There we go. Self-fit test invisible. Uh, text block. I will change the name of that later. Yeah, we don't want that shadowing. And we can just drag it into there. We'll get button again and we'll call this btn off uh, another button btn low gen medium BTN high. So text block. Off. Low. medium and high so now we can drag the buttons into here uh, if you want give them a style menu button style and now depending on what kind of options we want these to do um, There's a quick list of options here on the Unreal Engine website. Uh, scalability reference. So just Google that. I'll also have the link in the video uh, description. And the last video we covered resolution scale. And I think post process quality will be a good one because it covers all of these. So uh goes up to three, okay. Um right. Uh we'll 
call this post processing. And we'll need to so for each button we'll create a binding. Um, rename unclicked post processing btn off right uh, rename copy and we'll create binding for each button Hello. Medium. And high. Uh, right. So now that they all have boundings or bindings, uh, we can start setting these things to be enabled and disabled. So uh, button off right. On clicked, we want this to be disabled. So, widget set is enabled. Uh, we'll copy this and paste. break this link we will get the low medium and high and then we'll copy these into the low um, medium high so for off we want on clicked we want button disabled so that can go there and these three can all be plugged into here for low we want Oh wait, uh, for off we need this enabled, for low, set that enabled, uh, do the same again for the other two um, enabled uh, medium high and for button high these free right so compile and save now mm, let's 
should not be doing stuff but off low medium and high okay high needs to be fixed exit there we go and designer post process button visible but only as art okay maybe that's the right one options hmm There's the text button. Um, okay. Button hit test invisible. test invisible yeah there we go it's the text so that goes off click that and so now we want them to do stuff um, back to options and for off uh, we need a execute command and we'll have sg dot post processing I think that's it now it'll be this. Well, let's copy this then, so it's easier. And paste. And you can copy this. Paste. Uh, set this to one. Uh, medium. two and on high it will be free so not sure if you'll see any immediate change since there's no bloom or anything ah, okay medium high and right put a uh, an item around see the effects um, blueprints right, yeah that looks good save that so right maybe let's change the daylight around So, 
uh, for these buttons you could have like whatever command you want it's just another way of adding stuff to your option screen uh, next video will probably be adding a the uh, what you call them a slider box with items in them that really took me a while to figure out and stuff uh, it'll probably mostly be used for all the screen resolutions so I'll see you next time